everyone. I just waited for the kettle to boil to say good morning. And now both the, both the griddles have squeaky toys. So I'm going to say good morning anyway. <laughs> it's Monday morning and I think it's going to be a really good week this week. A more normal week. I should wait to get lots done. Fingers crossed I feel good. Um, I think it's going to be a good week though. <coughs> I'm optimistic. And I'm nearly over this stupid cough thing. It's not waking me up at night anymore. Anyway, the griddles are now playing, settled beside me, so that's good. So I just yeah, want to say good morning and start off another vlog. And I've got lots to get done. I'll just show you the house I'm looking at. It's not the best, not, not the best, not the worst though, it's not too bad. Uh, I've been missing the kitchen because I've got all the um, obviously washing up needs done. I don't know why I didn't put the dishwasher on after lunch yesterday. But the dishwasher wasn't that full at the time, but now there's a big explosion in the sink. But C likes to wash up, so she'll probably wash that up, or I'll stick it in the dishwasher. And then the process of making a cup of tea. I've got all the fruit and veg, all the vegetables there ready to, and some fruit I think ready to wash today in part of the food prep. Some things to get put away, and then I've got to get the kids to go through all these DVDs. I pulled them all out of the, the drawers, put them in the bags, and then they still want to go through them and pick some things out. So yeah. <laughs> I want that done because I'm going to get Chrissy to drop off some donations hopefully this week. And yeah, then we've got some groceries still to go away. And I've still got, my gosh, sorry about the dogs now squeaking. And I've still got all my stuff there to finish off my menu plan for the, like, for spring. And my desk is not too bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> and this room just needs a little pickup. It's not bad at all. Pick up two goldens. Now this room's pretty good. I might just run the vacuum through this morning. I'm using the blanket, washing there, ready to get put away, and the dining table was all cleared off because I finished my puzzle and packed it up and put it away. Um, I haven't really got any other ones to do until my new ones that I ordered turn up. I can't remember if I mentioned that I've ordered some more puzzles, but I ordered some more puzzles. So I'm waiting for them to come. If I get desperate, there's one I can do. But um, that's it, and the front entry's not too bad. I've got a header to put away. So that, just a little bit tidying up, tidying up and food prep today and i've got things like playing outside i've got so many things to do pick up all the lemons still outside i've got i'm gonna make a bit of a weekly list i think i've got quite a bit that i sort of want to get through hopefully i concentrate my food prep today i don't know i'll clean tomorrow since i didn't clean to thursday friday last week christy still says she wants to clean but not this week so we'll just we'll just see how it goes i'll kind of plan on doing it for now and then if she cleans, I can do something else with that time, so it's not so bad. Okay, there's something else I was going to say, but I forgot what it was. So I'm going to get another cup of tea. Continue to feel better. Um, and also like to the doggies out for a walk today too. We'll see how, we'll see how we go. Just looked out the window and I have to show you how pretty the sky looks. Oh my gosh, that's like perfection. Oh, that is so pretty with those little white fluffy clouds. Oh, I love. <laughs> That's gorgeous. <laughs> Gathering up the squad. You can probably tell we're a little bit excited because well, I'm going to get them organized now. We'll head out on our walk. Hung out the washing, so that's done. My stomach, oh, so I'm dark. My stomach, it's not great, but we'll see how we go. I might have to cut the walk short a bit, but hopefully, once I get out there and get going, it'll be all right. Certainly, feel the best this early in the morning that I felt for a quite some time usually it's you know a bit later in the morning before I start to feel decent so um yeah I'm gonna head out Boy, Coda. Everyone else is standing Coda's the only one sitting like a good boy we just stop to take a photo it's such a gorgeous day out but they haven't been for a walk for a while so they're not yeah, this one's not behaving the best <laughs> 
and I've got Kola's little ball he's got to help his anxiety. But you're not being very good keen either today. So I'm just getting ready for the day and you have no doubt noticed this. I don't even know what it is. I thought it was a pimple, but it doesn't look like any pimple I've ever had before now. And it also doesn't look like psoriasis, so I'm not really sure. I was going to cover it up so you didn't have to look at it all day, but I really want it just to, I've just put some herb oil on my whole face. I've just put some over that. And I just kind of want to leave it, I think, rather than cover it up. So I do apologize. I will try not to have too much of my face on camera today looking like this. Cause, yeah, I just don't know what it is. I don't know. It's like not attached to my lip, so it's not like a coleslaw, is it? I think they're called. I don't think I've ever had any of them anyway, maybe once or something. I don't think it's that, but who knows? I don't know. Just have it clears up really fast because it's like really big. So it's nothing like, it's not like a pimple. It's not like normal psoriasis, unless it's two like, little patches of psoriasis together, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully it will clear up soon. And, um, yeah. Anyway, I've um, had my shower, freshened up. I'm still a bit tired from the walk, but I've pretty much recovered, I think. So I'm going to have my breakfast now and then I can get on with things. But I've got all day to potter in the kitchen and do the food prep that I want to do, or at least most of it. And I can finish tomorrow because it's probably more like a two day food prep, depending on how I go today, obviously. It's rather oh my gosh. Oh, I think that's a bee in the house. Someone left the door open, it wasn't me. Oh, I don't know what it is. No, it's not a bee. I don't think it's a wasp. I don't know, I'm gonna go and close the fire screen though. <laughs> oh, which is sometimes there's a do the wind the window. Sometimes there's this door open for the dogs, but I'm around. I can let them in or out as need be. <laughs> I'm really struggling to get going, but I need to, I want to. My legs are just quite sore after the walk and I guess I'm rather tired. It's so sad that that just takes so much out of me doing that walk, but I really enjoy it, but I just, ugh, it's now 11 o'clock. I've just like kind of lost the morning. I was three hours to do a half hour walk really pretty much. Well, I did get dressed and stuff. So let's say two and a half hours. <laughs> Clean the wall. So let's say it takes two hours to recover from a walk. No, it's more than that's two and a half hours. I was back at nine. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it takes far too long, but that's what it is. Uh, anyway, I'm up. I've kind of tried to prioritize my food prep list. I picked out, well, yesterday I picked out the four meals I was making this week, and I think I'm going to have leftover Thai tonight, unless um, Thea and Ellie eat it today. There's enough for Kevin and I to have a dinner, so that's the beauty about just doing the four meals. It's not going to have any impact. We'll still do the four meals, and yeah, it's really helping, I think, with, um, well, not food wastage, because a lot can go to the dogs. Not all, but most of it can go to the dogs. So it's not really food wasted, but we're paying for food and we're not using it and you know it's time and money and all that stuff and it's not their normal food they've got i've already done their meals so <clears throat> i'm going to do some potato bake and a macaroni and cheese for christy for the last her some dinners at least it gets her eating a dinner might not be the healthiest but it's better than what she'll organize for herself so I'm trying to help out a little bit there uh so i'm gonna do them yeah, so I'm just going to get started, I'll film it, and yeah, I'll just share bits. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be showing you my face, anyway, I forgot. Like, the screen is too small on here, I can't really see, so, sorry. I could just film like this. I thought I'd get a good pose going. This could be today's pose. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll just start, so I'm not this. I've still got the washing, I might just wash as I go. I'm just trying to think anything needs washed and dried beforehand. I don't think so. I think I'm going to probably just wash and use. Yeah, I think that'll work okay. So I'll just do that.
much an hour and I'm pretty happy with how I got on. Um, multitasking kind of makes a bit more chaotic mess, but I feel like I accomplished a lot more. Um, <laughs> I was actually going to wash up the dishes, but Ellie must be in the bath and I can't change the temperature up to a hot enough temperature to wash. So I'm going to have my break now. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I don't feel like eating anything. I've still got loads of that hummus left that I made. And I think I made it Tuesday. I just tasted it. It still tastes fine. I'll probably eat it for a few more days. But that's the problem. I, and I tried to... That was a smaller batch than what I usually make. And I still didn't get through it. I don't know whether I should need to put in little containers. I mean, I had it like one or two days. It's just... Oh, I don't know. Three days maybe? I don't know. I probably don't eat it enough. Like every day. <laughs> to have it. Especially if I'm walking and all that sort of stuff. Like usually I would have some this when I'm prepping. But I, I had a bite of banana bread that I had out from this morning. Because you know, I chew cook. I'm just not eating as much as what I used to eat. So I don't think I'll make more hummus. I think it's a kind of thing. I'm better just to have the packaged one. And just have that it's a much smaller amount. Unless I can work out how to make a smaller amount of hummus. A much smaller amount. But for the work that's involved in it. I mean, it's not hard to make. I don't know. I just seem to be the only one who eats it, so it's a lot to make for one person. So I probably won't make that again for a bit. I'll see how I go using the container. I've still got two, I've got two containers in there, but I will finish off that one. It was a nice one. So I've done Chrissy's macaroni and cheese and passed the potato bake. I'm not too sure how this one pot dinner I didn't really have a title. Let's call it one pot meal. It's um that's it there. I didn't put all the vegetables in that was required, so I think I probably needed less of water than what her recipe said. Because that's not going to absorb all that water. I'll go back and find the video and um, re-watch it. I mean, it smells really good. And maybe I could just thicken it up with some corn flour or something. Oh, it smells really good. But I'm sure hers was not so liquidy like that. But I didn't put in as many vegetables and I didn't put in tofu but I wouldn't have thought that that would have still absorbed all that water so I'll go back and watch the video again <laughs> maybe I've done something wrong but yeah it just sort of absorbs the, the liquid maybe she had a bigger packet of pasta I don't know but anyway it smells really good I'll um, probably just store it like that and then I'll get rid of the liquid when we go to eat it because maybe the fridge will absorb more or thicken up more sometimes things do that when you put them in the fridge but it smells really good and that was super easy which was the whole idea of it and um what else have i done so i've got potatoes in the oven which i'm going to do the hawaiian potatoes again because kevin really really enjoyed them and they were like just easy to re to bake because they're like a twice baked potato anyway and what else have i got to do i've still got to do cut up the vegetables for fajitas that's easy enough and the mushroom carbonara so i still need to do that when that pot's free. But I'll go have my break now. I'll probably have a break for like an hour. And then I'll come back and do another hour before lunch. And then hopefully maybe another hour this afternoon. I could be all done. So let's see if I can get this all done today. I remembered the post this time. <laughs> okay, you said it before. <laughs> anyway. Back in the kitchen. It was so hard to get up. I really didn't want to. I'm so tired. But I'm up. I'm going to do some more. Because often just getting up is the hardest part. I need to go to Lou's. I have to get up. So I'll work for, I don't know. We'll see how it go. If I work to 2 o'clock, that'll be great. That'll be another 50 minutes. But I really don't want to do any more right now. I still need to feel like recover from everything. But anyway, let's see how this has turned out. Yeah, see, look at that. It has absorbed more of that liquid. So I'll put that in the container. I'll get this washing up and done and the rest of the veggies done. Yeah, and I'll just try and get through a bit more of oh, my diary, <laughs> figure out my diary, and I'll try and get through a bit more stuff and leaving baking and even the overnight oats and the almonds. And I'll kind of do that later on this afternoon or after lunch. But I need to prep my salad so I can have some lunch. I put some potato in the air fryer, or I might just have, I think there's some veggie bites in there, I might just have them today just because they're there, they're open. And I yeah, probably should have done an extra sweet potato, it would have been a smart thing to do, but. Didn't think of that, so all right. I'll put the video back on and uh, film the rest of this food prep day. Marathon day, isn't it?
take time to have lunch, but this is what I am leaving the kitchen like. Ugh. I've still got two meals to finish off and possible baking, but baking is probably not going to happen, I would say. Uh, I don't know. I did so good the first session and then, I don't know, I still got stuff done, but I've got the dishwasher emptied as you saw. So I've still got a few things like drying. I'm not drying all these up. There's a lot of thinners, containers. So hopefully they'll all dry while I have my lunch and I can put that away. Still got to be washing up to do. I left some stuff out, it's gonna get put away. I mean, it's, this is probably like five or 10 minutes work. It's not so bad. Still gonna finish vegetables, wash some fruit if I can, because the fridge is pretty chockers and I still might have another two meals to go in there. Because the dogs have got a few meals in there at the moment as well. Plus we've got our leftovers, so. I can fit some more stuff in there though. And obviously my oats go up there so they don't take up any room. This is how much hummus I've got left, can you see? Loads of hummus still. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and the meals for Christy. Hmm, anyway. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll put the carrots in, they got chopped up. Put them with the hummus to, to eat. All right, have my lunch and then I'll come back and finish off and try and get those last two meals done. I'm actually not too worried if I don't get the carbonara done because I can't remember if it's good reheated or not. I'm pretty sure I did that last time, but I can't remember if I just, I think I just did it on the night. So I don't think I've had it reheated before or maybe like cooked the afternoon and reheated that night. That kind of thing might've done that. So that will probably be okay if I leave that. I might just get, maybe get the mushrooms all cut ready to go and get all the vegetables ready to go. So i just got to kind of assemble it. I'll see. I'll look at the recipe and see what I can do. But definitely get the um, capsicum and onions. And I think we'll have mushrooms in our fajitas. So I definitely can get them all chopped up ready. I've got one container left. I'm missing a container. I think I must have popped in the freezer. So I may need to buy a few more glass. Contain, but I just can use different size ones. So it's not too bad. And I just used a casserole dish for the sweet potato, so that was fine. So I just have to go. I've got plenty of stuff here. I can kind of improvise. All right. I'm looking forward to my lunch and putting my feet up again. I am so tired. I'm still sitting here having lunch, but I think I am going to wrap up for the day as far as the food prep goes. Still going to get tidied up, obviously, put everything away. <laughs> if I hadn't gone for the walk, I probably could have done it all, but the walk as you guys know took a lot out of me so i got my little lunch buddy here yeah because i did the walk which was great i need to spread that food prep out over the next two over two days so i'll finish off tomorrow and I might take the dogs for a walk i don't know what they're going if i'm feeling good i'm going to go for what why i can because i think it's good for all of us good mental and physical activity but then i'll have to obviously um dial it back a bit um what i plan to get done here that's okay I've got a week and I've got nothing to do on any particular day really I mean I didn't clean downstairs until Thursday so even if I don't clean again downstairs till next Thursday to Thursday that's fine Christy has indicated she wants to clean again after this week she's got a lot of work on for a TAFE at the moment um, but we'll see <laughs> we'll see what she does I'm not that you know at the moment I said I'm not that worried uh, yeah I am I really have had it so I'll, um, yeah, just rest here for a bit more longer, a bit more longer, a bit longer. Then I'll go and get the kitchen cleaned up and at least dinner's organised. And I might try and grab the vacuum and vacuum through because I didn't get that done this morning like I'd wanted to. Um, I've got to bring the washing in. I've still got stuff to do. So, yeah, that'll do me. But I'll rest here for another half an hour. Probably have about, you know, I don't know, half an hour to an hour of cleaning up and other bits and pieces. And then it's four o'clock and... I'm quite happy to finish my day at four o'clock. <laughs> but you can have got quite a bit done. Yeah, I'm obviously still, I'm trying not, I'll try not to do too much or not to commit to too much, but having done the walk and see that took me out of action until like 11. That um, throws a bit of a, bit of a spanner in the works, but you know. <sighs> One day it'll all work out for me, I guess. Well, I come through and I have, oh, put stuff away. I just left that out because when Kevin gets home from work there'll be some plastic containers. I'll just wash them up and then obviously we've got dinner stuff for the dogs, donation to Mathena, some stuff from us or from me. 
Um, washed and prepped the rest of the vegetables, put away, so pretty tidy. Bananas are still waiting there to <laughs> be turned into something, hopefully tomorrow. I have made my almond milk and I was going to make the overnight oats. I thought, no, I'm going to actually wait and do them when I come up to do the dog's dinner and supervise them. I'll quickly make the oats up then. And that's it, pretty much done. I just got to put stuff away over there. And then I've done a whole lot of stuff and I've just got the two other dinners to prep and baking stuff and like wash fruit and vegetables. I better put that on my list actually. So I've done, I can cross off the almond milk and I'm about to cross off overnight oats. Oh, I did the salad as well. So I really did do a lot. Still got a bit more to do tomorrow, but hopefully tomorrow will just be like maybe two hours or so. Depending how I get on, of course. But yeah, and I have um, bought in the washing. I have a vacuum, but I'll maybe do that tomorrow morning. House isn't too bad. So yeah, these two wait for dinner, but they're a bit early. Everyone just got home from work and got a delivery from I think I showed you when I was ordering the other day from Affordable Whole Foods. Yeah, that's what they're called. So I've got two of these black tea, organic teas. I really like these. They're good value for money. It's probably my favourite sort of everyday tea. Some more TVP. I think we've got some, but I've got... We go through it. Same with organic popcorn. Some white quinoa. Best to buy from Costco. It's the cheapest, but this is the second cheapest. Some more um, little chalk bits. Dark, they're vegan dark chalk bits. They call them buttons, but to me they're chalk bits. I don't know if they melt totally or not. I don't know. I just use them in the chocolate chip cookies, and they do get pretty melty, so they probably would. And I've got some of these soya crisp, sweet chili crisp. And then Kevin, I like, see the side of the packet? I've got a kilo. And now I think the day I'd ordered it, Kevin said, I don't really like them very much. I think they're nice. Maybe Athena and Ellie like them. <laughs> because I don't try to, I try to have these things that would take i don't really want to eat those things too much maybe i can put them in the motorhome that's a kind of time i might have them i guess on hold i'll go away for the weekend anyway i am going to uh, do the dog's dinner do my overnight oats deal with this and probably make another cup of tea because that's what i do i'm gonna have this tea now <laughs>